either at this time of year or right after harvest, you can really see some of the light spots on your farm, those eroded areas. And many people talk about, well, I could try to build new topsoil, but that's gonna take forever. No, it doesn't have to take forever. We wanna talk today about five steps you can take on your farm to building new topsoil in your lifetime. Over the next 20 years, you absolutely can make a huge difference on your farm. That's the big thing, I think, is just don't listen to all these people that say, oh, it can't be done, and it's gonna take your whole farming career to do it. That's fine. Just start doing it. Make the next right decision. And there are a number of right decisions that we're gonna talk about right now to help build things on your soil. It's gonna build your productivity and make your soil better, even in those tough years on your farm. The first and most important step is to reduce tillage. Now, I'm not saying you have to go complete no-till, but all I can tell you is the most important step to building new topsoil is reducing your tillage. Now, a lot of people will question that and they'll say, well, it seems to me like if I just bury that residue, I'm putting it down in the ground so I should build organic matter faster. No, what happens when you do tillage is you open that soil up and a lot more oxygen gets in the ground and it's like adding fuel to the fire and it just burns up the organic matter faster. So there's a big reason why in the United States we've seen organic matter levels decrease in the last 100 years. It's all because of tillage. If tillage is reduced, we're not losing our organic matter. And the big thing now is if you want to build new topsoil, you need to build organic matter. Well, and it doesn't have to be uh, one extreme or the other, no-till or conventional till. Something like strip till, we utilize a lot on our farm. And what our goal is, is to leave the root mass of the last crop intact. So let's just say we're coming out of corn and we're planting soybeans. If we can leave that root ball intact on the corn and untouched, now we'll go in between those rows and plant our soybeans. You give it that much more time to start breaking down naturally in the soil without, as Brian said, introducing all that fuel to the fire. All right, step one was reduced tillage. Step two is plant crops with lots of residue and lots of root mass. So we're talking about corn instead of soybeans, for example. Corn on average has five times the root mass of soybeans. Now this does not mean that you can't ever plant soybeans, but all we're trying to say is if you want to build organic matter and you want to build new topsoil faster, planting corn instead of soybeans would probably be a good option. Well, I like using manure or compost. Whenever that's possible, those are great fertilizer sources, but they're also sources of organic material to put out into your soil that can eventually become organic matter. The other thing that enters into this equation is cover crops. They've really grown in popularity a lot in the last few years. The reason why, in part, is because they help hold soil in place, build organic matter, and you can absolutely build new topsoil, have something growing on your ground as many months of the year as possible. And the last of our five steps is utilize biological products. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that the biological products are just gonna change the entire world and wow, now I can do full-scale tillage because I'm using these, but they do make a difference, especially the ones that can influence root growth. And there are a number of biologicals on the market today that have been proven to increase the number of root hairs and the amount of volume of soil that those roots will explore. So when you get products that can make more roots, that's going to make a better situation for you to build organic matter in your soils. We just wanna make sure that you don't ever think, oh, I can't do anything about those eroded hilltops or anything like that. No, you absolutely can build new topsoil. You've gotta to reduce tillage, use crops that have lots of roots and lots of residue, use some manure and compost whenever possible, and then cover crops and biologicals. Well, please don't consider our Weed of the Week a cover crop. It will cover things, but it's definitely not something you want out in your ground. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.